Thank you. That was a great one. Thank you. So I'm done. There's no way it was not doing anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that. Because you know it's you you enter with like the big like ox thrust and then you come around and I'm so excited to go to the head so you pull the flow and hit the body. Which I think the only downside is it leaves your head open for an after blow, but that's another little action. Okay, so I'm not covering my head. Yeah, okay. Okay. But still like throw two to the head, throw two to the body, they won't know what to do. <laughs> That's the thing we can work on the most right now. Yeah. yeah. Just leave that open idea as well, guys. Because I see openings, and I'm just not, I'm not extending and taking them without adequately structuring my back. Yeah. yeah. Take that no, That's kind of something that was big in uh, my fencing, too, where I just I had to kind of give up those cuts. There's no way to adequately defend myself, or the risk was too high. Yeah. Which, I mean, tournament-wise, you can still get pretty far doing that, because if you can hit them and just make them so they can't hit you in tempo, um, or you, you know, hit like a high-value target and you just hit minus one. Um, I, just don't think it's a very, I don't think it's a very good way to fence overall. Yeah. That's why I liked uh, Casella Infection's rules, where after blows were just way to just double. They're not waiting to double, but they were, they, they made it so there were no points for work. Right. Let's see how much Joe loves us. He always has to like a string sparring. your weekly goal. Uh, it measures how many calories you're burning and just like normal activity. It measures a bunch of